Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Last Days of Europe with me, Alpha Palmega and Gross Germanisches Reich. So the date is 20th of March 1965 and we finished negotiations with Poland in the last episode, meaning they joined the Einheits Pact and the Solfra Ein, which by the way popped up as an economic um, zone for us to make decisions in. I'm going to speak about it uh, in a second, but first I wanted to do a little review of where we are and what our next steps will be. Because I looked a bit at uh, our situation here and we're not really doing all that good. And I'm going to explain why that is. When you look at the state of the Reich, uh, we are going very well. We're strongly reformist. Uh, our social outlook is conservative but growing really nicely. Uh, that is all fine and dandy. But regime stability is only 39.4%. If we go below 30, the government may collapse, so not only are we fairly low, but we are dangerously low as far as we are concerned. Now, we get, I think, monthly options to go, um, you know, hold a speech, do some token promises and so on, but uh, now we need to slow down. And focus on the regime stability because we have been reforming really fast and this is not good. Uh, the regime stability is really hurting. Why this is important is also because the Erhard's plan uh, leads us inevitably to decisions here. And you have two decisions. You have one which is uh, liberal and one that is not exactly liberal and that's going to hurt us. So. Uh, we have to go with the liberal one, which would be the price, the regulation and Ausbildung initiative. But both of those require uh, that you have regime stability of at least 50. And we don't have that. So at this point, we cannot really um, continue with the reforms. So what I can do here is I can finish the Trimmertruppen, then we can do the Warungsreform. I know that I mentioned that, you know, I want to keep it for uh, the you know, for the uh, credit rating increase. But I think that we're not gonna game the game that... Uh, I mean, I hate it. Uh, I don't know where... This is this is such a great zone. I hate doing things um, based on math and, you know, uh, calculating things like based on the mechanics and so on. But in this case, we would probably know that we are very close to having our credit rating improved because you talk of the agencies that uh, give this rating out. But once we finish the Truma Trooper... Actually, we might go with the Schmidt's proposal, but we're, either way, we have to stop the Erhard plan. Or we could actually look at uh, Norway, because that is something that we need to go through as well. So, just, you know, when I decided that we're gonna go through the reform, we find out that we can. And I don't really like uh, the decisions here that we have as uh, as conservative because it the game even says that uh, due to our erratic economic policy our national debt innovation and GDP will be affected so we should go with the liberal options here but for that we need regime stability so that's what I'm trying to say here okay so uh, with that off the table the Italo German great game uh, we have little hope of succeeding here but I'm hoping that we might be lucky We'll see if uh, we score one or four or three or two. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be 2-2. Two, two, and then there's going to be the last round, which will decide who uh, wins in Hungary and Romania. I kind of like that we are, you know, to the very end um, fighting for dominance there. Uh, the anti hitic Cabal, I checked there's nothing new that we can do here. I don't want to siphon the funds or implicate our political enemies because uh, that hurts them. So at this point, uh, nothing. We're going to keep checking. And the Sulfur Iron is a new thing here. Uh, the Sulfur Iron is a grand new project of economic cooperation between many nations of Europe. Spearheaded by Germany's Gang of Four, it seeks to unite the continent under a common single market, ensuring economic cooperation and mutual stability in the progress. Now, we have a total budget of 3.62 billion American dollars, allotment is 0.9 uh, billion dollars, and available budget is 0.9 billion dollars. Uh, so there are some special projects here, hide special projects, show generic and high generic. So let's see what the special projects are, can we see? 
up. Okay, I, I can't click that. So we'll have to, I guess, wait. It will become available later. Weird. Not kind of decision. Oh, okay. Wait. You know, we, you know what we could do? We could uh, remove this. We could remove these and have a nice little pop-up for ourselves. That would work. Okay, we won't need any more of these. Maybe that's gonna allow us to... Okay, show, show. Anti-hitic about, we don't need these. Okay, that removed it. So we'll see when, when something new pops up. Cool. Uh, so the sofa Aina, and I think that's pretty much all there is right now. We need to keep checking on our equipment because we have a ton of it in stock and I would like to start distributing. We have some new tanks and stuff. Oh, you know, things, things are going well. Uh, the Navy should be our primary focus in the upcoming... Hey! And we got new cruiser here. Awesome, they'll do so. Um, when did... Oh, okay. So it actually was constructed recently. Amazing. Okay, so let's remove that. That will give us three more dockyards. So I'm going to put... Those two cards here and then all of them on the next one. And we're gonna just produce one more of these and then revisit our navy and see what we can do with them because it is actually yeah, we have some destroyers, some corvettes. We don't have a navy to speak of, quite honestly. We had a bit too big of a navy originally, and now we have no navy. So what is it? Ah, okay, now it's available. Quarterly budget update. The software item budget and allotment per nation is updated every quarter, allowing for new investments. The regime has collapsed. Okay. So let's show the special project decisions. Education investment. Academic-based monthly change and research facilities monthly change. And it costs 50 million. Poverty reducing initiative. Poverty monthly change and agricultural methods monthly change. And tradesmanship, industrial equipment. Wow, all of these are actually great. So, education investment. If there is anything that's important to the foundation of a nation, it is how literate and how intelligent its people are. Though it is important to focus on education, the Sulfur Ein has made this process easier to push the refurbishment of schools and the examination of the national curriculum, among other educational reforms. So definitely this one we want. Poverty reducing initiative. People who can barely get by uh, with their paycheck or people who are simply out on the street and asking for spare change so that they can survive. They are the most vulnerable. Vulnerable? Vulnerable. <laughs> vulnerable. Vulnerable. It's the most available to pick up and put back into society. With the help of the Sulfur Iron, we will make a significant attempt to clear the streets and make sure that these people can keep their lights on more often than not. Okay, so let's get that one. And Tradesmanship Initiative. Our industry must be versatile and there is no better way to make sure that these foundations of such an industry are set up than by approaching the youth of the nation. The Sulfur Iron is a useful tool in this. By diverting some funds from it, we can set up programs to push bright new mines into fields not common to export, thus diversifying and strengthening our economy. Okay, so all of them are good. And... Okay, I think we can get these ones and now show the generic ones. Civilian investment, military investment, infrastructure, and synthetic oil. Okay, our budget took a bit of a hit. Civilian. Using the budget of Europe's new economic union, the Sulfur Ein, we will transfer some of the surplus funding into our own industry, focusing on punishing the state of our civilian goods and making sure our economy can satisfy its populace. So, neither choice and gets either one school, one. In. Okay, that's not worth it. Military investment. Even under the protection of the many Sulfur Ein nations, we still. Need a capable army of our own. With that in mind, a further investment into increasing our military capacity will prove itself a useful side effect of sulfur iron. No, 
infrastructure investment. The heart of any nation beats as strong as the links of its railroads and the concrete of its roads. And with the new investment program pushed by the software iron, we will make sure that our nation's infrastructure will be strengthened. How expensive is to build infrastructure? 6,000. Uh, okay, that's, that might be 100 million. Okay, let's get that one. And synthetic O in investment. We cannot rely wholly on the world outside of Europe. Therefore, it is a wise idea to invest into expanding the supply of synthetic oils that we have with funds from the sulfur iron and look towards further refining the process. While autarky is a difficult thing to achieve, it will still ease whatever future troubles we may have with oil. Two synthetic refineries, that's actually really good. Oh god, that's really good. Okay, so let's get two of those, especially since oil has been an issue for us constantly. Okay, that's siphoned a lot of money from the budget, but I think we ought to be fine. Cool, so Sulfur Iron is looking pretty good. And we have some army experience now. The Erhard plan, quite the character. Okay, so let's look at it before we can look at something else. What is this? You want to change our price controls? Speer raised a skeptical eyebrow as he glanced at Erhard over the top of his proposal sheet. Erhard shook his head and plucked a fat cigar from between his lips. Man, this guy smokes like Fidel Castro. No, my fear. read it again. I don't want to change them. I want to abolish them. Price controls have never prevented inflation, and the black markets have been sucking the life out of our commercial sector for over 10 years. We aren't going to dig ourselves out of, his, out of this hole if we keep rejecting sensible free market principles on, well, principle. Speer was silent for a moment, eyebrows furrowing as he squinted at the tiny text more closely. Erhard shifted in his chair and replaced his cigar, taking a deep, satisfied puff. Suddenly, Speer's eyes stopped flicking back and forth, then widened. Reset the Reichsmark? Are you telling me we should withdraw it from circulation? All of it? Then issue new notes and coins. The first batch is ready for distribution already, and banks in East Prussia and the Rhineland are prepared to start accepting the old currency. It will, let me finish my fear, give our citizens the purchasing power they've lacked ever since the crash in the 50s. Once the OFN embargo ends, Speer looked equal parts intrigued and mortified. What do you mean the embargo? Erhard flicked away the stub of his cigar. You are planning to end the embargo, aren't you? Haven't you already spoken with Schmidt about this? Yes, but not good. The sooner imports start up again, the sooner we'll see quality of life begin to increase. I assure you, my fear, that you will see progress not a day after the embargo is lifted. Erhard rose to his feet with a groan of exertion and gathered up his papers. Now, everyone must be going, my fear. I have dozen bankers and five CEOs to meet with before the day is out. With a lazy salute and an almost forgotten heil, Erhard was gone, leaving Speer with a book-sized proposal and far too many numbers for his liking. Oh man, that hits our stability as well. Quite the character. 2.5% lost. Uh, okay, we can do the vast political promises. Uh, we'll keep those in case we need... Yeah, but we are like 7% away from collapse. But yeah, this is what happens when you uh, surround yourselves by people who know what they're doing. You know, you might be a bit in their wake, but it is always a good idea to to do that because they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So the Truman Truppen are going to be done soon. The great game. Just like so many others before it, so too has Norway finally escaped our grasp under cover of the Burger Krieg. However, that does not mean that they can no longer be useful to our administration. Herr Speer is a benevolent man and is willing to not only leave the free Norwegians in peace, but to work with them again and reintroduce them to the Spear as something more than serfs and subhumans. Hey, that actually increases our regime stability and negates it at the same time, so we can do that one. 
In the scorched valleys and raised jungles of Colombia, the Colombian Revolutionary Union has defeated the Republic of Colombia. Wait, what? Wasn't the Republic of Col Oh my god! They, they defeated the, the central government. Holy hell. There is a trivial truth, since there is no doubt or uncertainty in saying it, which, however, is important to always keep in mind. We are all going to die. We know that simple because we are alive. Social building construction to Jesus. I was really not expecting them to fall this quickly. Engineering. <laughs> Infantry is the bread and butter of our operations. So I'm going right to focus on them. Infantry anti-air. Generation. One night vision, one night attack, naval night attack. That is not bad. Support. Uh, I think we're done. No, 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 no. C three I. Yes, we need that one. C three I pass. To be precise, that gives a decent bonus to a lot of stuff. Uh. So wait. Uh, we haven't. We haven't finished this, so let us look at Birgulver, Alexander, okay, military policy division, do we have? Okay, it's used as a garrison template, so let's put you down. So PGD Operations Group is the original one, and HPS Operations Group is the new one. So we wanted to give you the Armored Engineer Companies. Do we have what we need? Yeah, we do. Fuel usage, okay, and it's gonna increase a bit. Soft attack is gonna drop, but hard attack is gonna increase. Breakthrough is gonna significantly increase, and that is important. Um, artillery, we're gonna keep. Support anti tank. This one bothers me. I wanted to. Wait. We need to save this. And now, support anti tank. With attack helicopters. Yeah, that would work way better, but we. Oh, we do have enough! Uh, okay, so let's do it. And let's give you one more elite infantry. And we're done with you. So this uh, finishes the HPS Operations Group at creation. Uh, these guys are the best of the best and they are well equipped to handle anything we might throw that away. Next in line is going to be the PGD Operations Group, which will need a lot of work. These guys will probably start by getting more elite infantry uh, units and then we're gonna look at the support companies. Okay, so we finished the, the Trümmer Truppen. The cornerstone of Hitler's revival of the German economy after the disaster of Weimar was the Reichsarbeitsdienst RAD, which was a system wherein ordinary citizens, mostly youths, would enroll or volunteer for military-style regiments with the sole purpose of carrying out massive public works. Immensely popular and astonishingly successful, the Reichsarbeitsdienst reduced the unemployment rate to nearly zero and instilled proper working class values in an entire generation of disillusioned and profligate young men. Erhard, despite his dislike of, our, of orthodox national socialist economics, knows a good idea when he sees one. The RAD will live once more. Okay, this time under the new title of Trimmertruppen. These new labor divisions will carry out work that would otherwise be allocated to slaves, thereby fulfilling Speer's promise of reducing unemployment. At least in the short term. This is the first step in our gradual move away from forced labor programs and it will be vital for rebuilding the blue collar job market in the coming years. Construction speed increased by 10%. Yeah, power to rate will start. We have so many things that should improve our power to rate and they're just not. <laughs> They're just not doing that. Okay, so Schmidt proposal. Quite some of friends. Okay, this. This doesn't really help with GDP. It's more of a political stuff, isn't it? 
Yeah, and it helps with regime stability. But I think we're gonna start with the great game. At least until we can figure out what to do with uh, the regime stability. Uh, what's production is? I think you're lying, but let me check. Yeah, you are lying. No wonder. No wonder you are lying. Still, how are we doing on construction? Uh, we're doing good. Constructing, constructing. Saxon, Westfalen, Zud. Need some new place to build. Palmer. Mark Brandenburg. How about Mark Brandenburg? Uh, no, that one is okay. Bayreuth, Mainfranken, and Franken. What about you guys? Mainfranken, Bayreuth. Okay, Mainfranken and Bayreuth are prime candidates. A show trial, literally. Sounds great. The courtroom was filled to the brim. Journalists, cameramen, policemen and common folk filled the rows left for the public, and it was entirely justified. Herbert Otto Gila, head of the security in the traitor SS faction during the Burger Krieg, and directly responsible for hundreds, if not thousands, of summer executions, had been captured less than a week ago while trying to pass the border between Isa yeah. Yeah, and Elsass, yeah, Elsass and the Ordenstadt. The door opened and the crowd roared as Gila was brought to his desk. Some most likely relatives to some of his victims tried to breach security to get to him, but the police kept them away. When order returned inside the watch room, the trial began. Requested if he had any declaration, the defendant stood. I do not recognize this court. Each and every one of you hold no authority over me. Screams erupted, but he yelled even louder. Don't you see? This is order, this decadence. Heydrich wanted to bring peace to Germany. A new order, a perfect order. He would have excised corruption like one removes a cancer. Look at you. You are nothing but a gangrene on the perfect body of Germany. A laugh interrupted his tirade. Amidst his fits, the prosecutor started a recording. Thank you for your donation to our cause, came Gil's perfectly audible voice. My wife will surely appreciate this fine necklace, and I can indeed make use of a new car. But how about we talk more important business? Herr Gila, the prosecutor chimed happily, ending the recording. If we are a cancer on Germany, it seems you are far from being healthy. A few seconds passed, then someone from the crowd started laughing, then another joined, and another, until the entire room was falling apart. The laughs audible from the road outside the courtroom. That day, newspaper and television news all featured the livid SS as he desperately tried to scream at the crowd to shut up, only to be drawn by laughing. The SS disappeared in shame, defeated by a laugh. <laughs> okay, decisions available. Oh, token political promises. That is what we need. Plus, five regimes to put. Okay, 39. If we can get... Oh, if we could get... And this is a great idea. If we could get the political, what's it called? Um, the political speech. That would put us over 40, at which point we could start one of these, uh, these ones, even if temporarily. Okay, the great game. Okay, we read that. So the non aggression pact with Kingdom of Norway is enacted. Uh, reformers cause benefits from it, but we get extra stability. So withdraw German advisors or a redefined relationship. Is there anything here that would lead to an administrative efficiency northern foothold? This increases GDP growth by 0.15 and they give us military access. Huh. And free dockyards. Oh, we finished the the ship. When will you finish? 9th of April. Okay, we can wait six days and then uh, look into the plan. Barum's reform. 
Uh, okay, well, let me see. Uh, have we grown the credit rating? Yeah, we are at 98 out of 100. Okay, so in next month we are going to boost that. Wow, this is gonna increase our base stability by 15. Holy hell, okay. Let's withdraw the German advisors, whatever that means. No divisions in basic training. We'll have to design some new ships soon in 45 days, huh? Thinking whether or not it would be... Okay, let me see. If we wanted to build another ship here, another old aged... Actually, couldn't we upgrade the Zerstörers, the old ones, because we have some new tech, especially the fire control system. Oh, we don't have it yet. Uh, the sonar module. These are not ships made for... Yeah, these are not ships made for sub-hunting. 2nd of May. Okay, so we can build one more. And then I guess one more and we'll be done. And we'll have the ability to design a new one. With an improved uh, system of fire control. That is good. That is good. Which reminds me, I haven't checked what kind of, because I know that we had these basic corvettes here and we have some of these Rostock frigates, but we need to decide what we're going to do with them because they are really bugging me. Three corvettes, eight destroyers, five frigates and two white cruisers. That is appalling. That is downright appalling as far as a nation like Germany is concerned. Hmm. Oh, actually, this reminds me again. Uh, you guys do not get anything. Okay, you can drill and you're done. Okay. Uh, what is it? Oh, yes, it is the speech. It's gonna give us. Effects when removed. Okay, in seven days, stability will increase by 2.5%. We'll get over four days, and then we can do the vast political promises, which will push us for 31 days above 50, which will be enough for us to enact the Ausbildung Initiative and revitalize science. Awesome. And with a bit of luck, we might even manage the other thing, but it will depend. Damn, you became really, really fuel hungry. 33.26. Oh, they got tanks, and they got armor, and they got helicopters. How many helicopters do they have? Like, 54. Damn it. For the armored cars, 20 battle tanks, 50 transport vehicles, yeah. Uh, they're not to be taken widely. Armed friendly rebel forces, oh. This is the anti hutti cabal, right? Yeah, we're back. Okay. So, bolster anti hutti arm. Okay, let's arm them, bolster them, and fund them. So that will give them enough power. So withdraw German advisors. The young Norwegian nation no longer has any need for German monitors in its government. And in fact, it's uh, and in fact is very vocal dissatisfied with their continued presence there. As our first gesture of goodwill to the young administration, we shall officially withdraw any and all German advisors and bureaucrats confiscation in Norway. Yeah, okay, so all of this affects Norway, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. And research finished. Improved fire control system too. 
So I think I can save this for now. We can hold the speech and in five days we can start the research. Failed military coup in Ecuador. With the Colombian civil war picking up, Ecuador has become rife with refugees, an issue that many believe the government is unable to deal with as food shortages begin and shanty towns are formed in major cities. In a bid to secure stability, the army attempted a coup to remove the... the Arosemena cousins. Arosemena. <laughs> and what they represent. However, the police have put down the conspirators, learning of their plans and arresting its heads, trialing and arresting them in Quito. While this means that the government can survive for today, tomorrow is not such a guarantee. With the military now divided between loyalists and golpistas and more inept than ever, the state has seen a terrible surge of guerrilla activities as many pivot towards the revolutionaries, making many wonder how much time the government has. Dang. Oh, at least we're not that bad. Okay, support. Good military infrastructure. Yep, I think this is something that we need to do. So, 45 days till we get the improved destroyer. This will give us, yeah, 57 days improved decimetric radar. So, that's gonna help. And now, uh, wait, what's going on here? Have we, wait, we finished the speech and we still have 39.9, no, I need 2.5, I need 0.1 more, 0.1 more to do my plan, god damn it. Ah, okay. Now we can guarantee Norway and Northern Foothold. Dang, this is all for Norway. Strengthen our prestige. This is all, all for Norway. Yeah. But we need that before we start dealing with Ukraine. Well, considering we still haven't finished increasing our stability, there really isn't anything we can do either way, so what the hell am I even thinking about? I mean, this is not a question, we just can't do anything, so what the hell? Just just do it. Okay, Rex Commissariat, are you still at war? Yep, you are. And these guys won't last much longer, unfortunately. Provisional government. But they've been holding on their own for long. Okay, so we're accepting Norwegian bureaucrats. Now that our representatives in the government of Norway are officially withdrawn and safely back in the fatherland, we must formally recognize and guarantee the sovereignty of the native Norwegian bureaucrats taking their place. From now on, the Norwegian people are allowed to fully govern themselves any way they deem correct, unchained from Germany at legal level. Okay, um, I guess relationship uh, redefined is next. And Velasco returns to Ecuador, and we're gonna end the episode here by this nice little event. In the next one, we're gonna start investing again in the army and I'm hoping that we might start uh, preparing the new generation of destroyers because the 1951s aren't all that great and once we're finished this one the 1970s is way too ahead so getting some cruisers would be good Admiral Radra 1960 missile cruiser Okay, that would give us some nice thing. A nuclear cruise reactor, okay. So we'll have a lot of technologies here to done. So in the meantime, we can build some destroyers and focus on strengthening our... Um, anti because, you know, the 1950 uh, ones are anti-ship ones. So I think we should really make sure that they can hunt subs because they will be quite, quite dangerous to us at this point. Velasco returns to Ecuador. With chaos running 
Ecuador in the aftermath of the failed coup, desperation set in on many of the oligarchs that had backed the regime. Seeing the Arosemena government as an unpopular favor, they turned to the one man they thought could save the regime, making a deal with the devil in the process. Immediately betraying the oligarchs that had doomed his regime in the past, the Caudillo would seize their property and nationalize their lands, using its profits to pay for further Iberian aid. Restarting the dying economy, Velasco works to the end of famine and whip the army that didn't flee to the Galapagos into bringing an end to the remaining guerrillas. El amor a la patria, el saber lujar. Man, I, you, if there are any <laughs> guys that speak this language, then must be horrified. El saber hacher, hacher, sacrificio, sin amelanarse. Eso es la revolución. Yeah, I probably don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, things are, well, not looking good, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, by the way, we haven't really checked the... Yeah, we got 12. Okay, so this, this round is good as lost. Uh, but the Stoke of Fire of Jingoism is gonna end next. And then we'll have the last round, which will decide who Hungary and Romania will join. It's kind of funny, I don't think Italy... Uh, well, no, they do get their own, own strength. But I mean, the fact that they... Well, I mean, we're in the aftermath of complete chaos and destruction, so what the hell. I mean, that's not a question here. Okay, inflation is dropping. GDP per capita is dropping, poverty is increasing. Well, not really doing all that good, I guess. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Reforms have to take place and they will take some time to get into effect. So, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode.